Most machinists know three axis, but what about five axis? That can feel too advanced or too complex, or maybe even intimidating. But the truth is, it doesn't have to be. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what a five axis is and what are the advantages and how machines like this CX-4 can make things really simple. And for an example of a good five axis part, we'll be machining an oversized mountain bike stem out of aluminum. This is the part we're making, which is an oversized version of a mountain bike stem. That's the part that holds your handlebars in place. Good God. Now normally this part would take four to five setups on a three axis machine. And each setup would mean more time, more fixturing, and more chances of error. But on a five axis machine like the CX-4, we can do it in a single setup. So let's break this down. In a typical three axis machine, you can only machine what you can see of the part from the top down in the Z axis because you only have X, Y, and Z. On a five axis machine, we're adding two more axes, which is a tilting axis and a rotary axis. The benefit to this is it's letting you get to five sides of the part instead of just one. That's gonna mean less handling, higher accuracy, and actually longer cycle times because now you're combining five programs into one, which is gonna allow you to walk away and do other things. Now this may still seem complicated, but here's the key. Most five axis machining is just positional, which means you rotate, you lock, you cut. So at that point, your five axis machine is just a three axis machine that's able to access more sides of the part. And as for simultaneous five axis where all the axes are moving at once, that's only needed when the geometry demands it, which is not very often. To make five axis work for you, you need to remember a couple fundamentals. And number one is to learn the kinematics of your machine. So five axis comes in a lot of different flavors. It could be a table table kinematic with an AC like this machine. It could be a BC kinematic, a head table configuration, head head configuration. Whatever it may be, learn what it is because each machine has its own strengths and weaknesses. Number two is to understand how you're programming your machine, whether it be from center of rotation or using codes like tilted work plane, tool center point control, or cycle 800. Knowing these codes will ensure that your cam software and your machine does all the heavy lifting. And number three, keep things simple. The more you understand the basics, the more you'll be in control. You know, five axis looks complicated, but at the end of the day, you want to program it just like a three axis machine, so it shouldn't be any more complicated than what you're already doing. Now watch how the CX-4 is handling this part. One fixture, one setup, the machine rotates and tilts to be able to attack the part from all sides. Instead of spending hours flipping, refixturing, and reprobing, we can machine this part all in one op in just a few minutes. That's the power of five axis machines like the CX-4. Speed, precision, and efficiency in every move. And here it is, our finished oversized mountain bike stem. A semi-complex shape, cut fast, accurate, and mostly in one operation. This is what 5-axis makes possible. And we are distributors for YCM now, so if you're interested in this machine or another one just like it, check out the description below. And don't forget, in November, we are having our Boombastic show, so come on down and watch all these machines running. We're gonna have a lot of cool demos and just hang out and have a good time. So check out the description below and make sure you register for Boombastic. So if you've only ever run three axis, don't be intimidated. Five axis isn't some unreachable level. It's just adding two more axes to allow you to access more sides of the part in a single setup. 
So learn the fundamentals that I mentioned earlier in the video and let your machine and your cam software like SolidCam handle all the heavy lifting. And if you're still worried about it, make sure you come here to Boombastic in November and let's talk about it. We'll see you on the next one.